literally, there is magic in Los Angeles. You will very certainly get the opportunity to visit the wizarding world of Harry Potter, located in the village of Hogsmeade, in Universal Studios. Los Angeles is a hugely diversified metropolis where everyone can find a place. The period of crime in Los Angeles is past, and there has been a significant drop throughout the years. However, like in most major cities, there are a few areas to be wary of. Find out which regions of Los Angeles are unsafe. West Adams. This is a violent neighborhood in Los Angeles. This neighborhood has 474% more violent crimes than the national average. Even with this ridiculous figure, violence in this community has actually decreased. There was so much gang violence in the 1960s that citizens were banned to mumble. Although the police presence in W. Adams appears to be overpowering, measuring their response to the non-stop bombardment of crime is difficult. For the first half of 2019, Crime increased by 12.3% as compared to 2018. Visitors in this neighborhood are urged not to venture out at night, especially women traveling alone. 2. Wholesale District, Skid Row. This downtown Los Angeles area has a population of 7,245 persons, with around 2,500 of them being homeless. Is Skid Row in Los Angeles truly dangerous? The police officers are as relentless as the heroin and meth trades in this neighborhood. Panhandlers and pickpockets may be present on public transportation, so keep wallets and cash close to hand. This area is already known as a hotspot for drug addiction, prostitution, and stolen items. San Pedro Street is a hotspot for illegal activity. Cycling or walking in this area is only permitted before 6 p.m. Skid Row then becomes devoid of pedestrians, and the street gangs recommends. 3. Downtown. According to LAPD figures, the crime rate is somewhat decreasing year after year. However, crime remains high. The most affected neighborhoods are those located south of 3rd Street, north of 7th Street, west of Alameda Street, and east of Main Street. In certain areas, you will very certainly come into contact with pickpockets or be robbed for cash. Exploring the streets at night is discouraged, especially for solitary female tourists, as it becomes desolate and appears sketchy. If you need to remain the night and explore the next day, a few hotels come highly recommended. Despite frequent police patrols, the safest feeling is when walking or bicycling during the day. 4. Compton. Although gang activity in this neighborhood declined about a decade ago, the reputation of murder, firearms, drugs, and poverty lingers. In 2005, Compton had the highest homicides per 100,000 people in the United States. This is most definitely LA's worst neighborhood. Despite the fact that the police are virtually always present in this area, there were 3,733 recorded occurrences in 2019. In the first half of 2020, the population of 97,740 had already been subjected to 120 violent crimes and 257 property crimes on Compton's worst street. Visitors to the city are cautioned to be cautious while strolling or bicycling during the day and night. Though dangerous, violent crimes are primarily targeted. Although public transportation is reasonably safe, precious things and cash should be kept out of sight for your own peace of mind. 5. North Hollywood. The art district is known as NoHo by the inhabitants. It shares a boundary with Universal Studios and is home to the arts and sciences. This area has little criminal activities, such as drug selling and gang activity. Property crimes are more prevalent in North Hollywood, accounting for 82% of total crimes reported in 2019 per 100,000 people. Is North Hollywood, however, safe? Magnolia, Lancashire, and the 170 Highway are safe at any time of day, whether taking public transportation, Uber, walking, or bicycling. There is Valley Village in North Oxnard, but anywhere past Burbank Boulevard or north of Victory Boulevard is not considered safe. 6. South Los Angeles. Formerly known as South Central Louisiana, is plagued by drug trafficking, gangs, and gang violence. This is the primary cause of violence in this area. 
the police are seen patrolling often, which has resulted in a decrease in crime as compared to the 1990s. Is it unsafe to live in South Los Angeles? Because gang operations are divided into territory, ladies going alone, particularly at night, are discouraged in this neighborhood for fear of wandering into a hostile operating hood. During the day, walking, riding, and taking public transportation are all safe, with little risk of being robbed of money. There are extremely few hotels with reviews in the South Central area. Seven, Watts. This is not a safe area, although it is not as deadly as it formerly was thanks to various developments over the years and constant police patrols. Tourists are encouraged and must understand to keep wallets and valuables secure whether strolling or bicycling throughout the day. Residents worry about hoodlums at railway stations, as well as their dread of being pickpocketed and robbed of cash. As a result, public transportation is frowned upon. Eight, Koreatown. This neighborhood features aspects of prostitution, drug selling, and a strong presence of Hispanic gangs. As a result, the southern and eastern areas are unsafe and rife with crime. There have been reports of robberies and pickpockets, thus taking public transit should be avoided if at all feasible. It is preferable to use credit slash debit cards instead than carrying cash in handbags and wallets. Is Koreatown in Los Angeles safe? If you are not exploring secure locations such as Hancock Park, Wilshire Center, and so on, it is better to limit your excursions to the daytime only. 9. Fashion District. During the day, this neighborhood is not very safe due to the broad mix of people and several businesses that draw visitors. Walking, biking, or taking public transit is not dangerous, but there is a possibility of pickpockets, putting your handbag and wallet at risk. You have a 1 in 24 risk of being a victim of a crime in the fashion district. 10. Hollywood. This area with 90,322 inhabitants became a prominent tourist attraction after being the birthplace of Paramount Pictures, Warner Brothers, and Universal Pictures Studios. Despite the surge of people on the streets and the prevalence of pickpockets and panhandlers, walking or bicycling during the day is reasonably secure. Perhaps you should set a reminder to check your cash and items at regular intervals. Nighttime, on the other hand, is a significant hit, and walks should be avoided. There are many dodgy spots, and cops are few and far between. 8. According to FBI crime figures disclosed in the LA report, daily crime in 2018 was 1.15 times more than the California average and 1.26 times higher than the national average. When the two years were compared, there was a 5.7% decrease in crime from the previous year by 2019. Crime decreased in 77% of all communities in Los Angeles.